In this week's episode of Art Studio Chat, we're going to look at how do you make a cheap and affordable Stay Wet palette for your acrylic paints. G'day folks, Rod here from the Learn to Paint Academy. Welcome in this episode of Art Studio Chat. I want to show you a really simple and easy solution to making your own Stay Wet palette for your acrylic paints. Now, where I live here, I live in fairly hot, humid conditions for six months of the year, and uh, my acrylic paint dries out really quickly. And uh, sometimes even within the space of doing half a painting, you know, it can be completely dry on the palette. So I've been looking for how do I make a stay wet palette, nice and cheap, and, and anyone can afford to do it, but also really easy solution for it as well. So here's what I came up with. I went to my $2 shop, and I found these plastic trays, right? So it's just a simple little plastic serving tray. But it's got a little bit of a uh, you know, half an inch dip in it, which is important. You don't want a flat one, right? So it's gonna have a half inch one just to be able to take the water there. So I've got that. The other thing I've got is some paper towel, which is gonna be what's gonna uh, hold the water. And I've got some baking paper or parchment paper, I think you call it in the US, other parts of the world. We call it baking powder. But a non-wax surface is what's important because we're going to use the paper towel to absorb the water, but that water needs to soak up through the paper. So a wax surface won't allow that to happen. So let me go down to the palette cam and I'll show you how I construct this and what you need to do to put it together. Okay, so there's our plastic tray. I've also got a, a glass of water there, which I'll show you in a moment. And all we need to do is just take our paper towel. Um, I usually bring it out in two squares like so. And we'll just put in a couple of layers of the paper towel here. Now you could use a uh, spongy type material as well. Um, that would work fine, uh, as long as it can hold the water. I'll get rid of that and find another paper towel. So yeah, that's the important thing is that the uh, this membrane area here that we're putting in needs to be able to soak up the water and keep moist. So I put in a couple of layers of paper towel there. Pretty simple, right? And then notice that my baking powder is the same width as the tray. So make sure you have a look around and find a tray and some baking powder paper that's roughly the same width. Pull some of that off and just drop that over the top. Simple, right? And then we just put our paint straight over there. Now, what we're gonna do just before we apply the paper down is I just take a little bit of this water and apply it into the tray there like so. And then you can flatten it out, smooth it out a little bit so we've got a smooth surface here. And we lay that over there. And then this becomes our palette. And what will happen is that water will soak up through that paper towel there. Uh, through the baking paper. So I get some paint, and all we do then is just apply our paint into our palette around the circumference like that, in the same way we might normally do. So as you can see, I've laid out my colours on the palette there, and you just use it as a normal palette. Um, it's got a nice big mixing area, and the key is just to keep the surface underneath there, uh, the paper towel, hydrated throughout the painting process. So I'm going to go and do a quick little painting um, and then we'll come back and look at how uh, the Stay Wet palette is working with these colours. Okay folks, well it's been about an hour, hour and a half now um, and I uh, can assure you that this paint here is still very wet and uh, for an acrylic paint, you know, that doesn't usually happen. It'd normally be dry and crusty on the... Uh, on the palette here by now. So that's great news. Um, very simple and easy to put together a little stay wet palette. And um, this will stay wet probably overnight as long as I keep the paper towel there hydrated with water. And I can easily lift up the, uh, the baking paper there and add more water to it. In fact, let me just show you how you do that. So all you need to do is just uh, lift up the baking paper here, take your water and you can just pour that over there do it from both ends and then lay the baking paper back down and that will ensure that it remains hydrated and your paint there is going to stay wet now if you wanted to you can even put a you know some cling wrap over it overnight but i know that when i come back in the morning as long as i keep this paper towel wet before i uh, go to bed at night that that is going to stay wet and um, it's a fantastic solution so there you have it folks this week's art studio chat how to make a simple cost effective um, stay wet palette for acrylic paints. Great thing is, 
when you're finished with it, you can just wrap it all up and throw it straight in the bin and start all over again. It's a great solution. Give it a try. It cost you a couple of bucks and it will extend the life of your acrylic paint. I used to throw out a whole lot of paint because it would dry on the palette. And now I'm able to use more and more of that paint and get better value for money. So give it a try. Let me know how you go. Cheers for now.